I know we've had our difficulties this year, but don't let that ruin our Christmas. As a family, we have each other. We should remember our friends and our faithful employees we have lost. I'm not sure how you expect to win another term in the Senate with speeches like that. Dad. Alistair, could you bring another bottle of Burgundy, please? And on your way, could you turn on the Christmas lights? Certainly, sir. Oh, that's right, you don't speak much. Kind of creepy. What happened to the lights? What's with the cable? You're not playing with me, are you, Lucius?
Christmas. Let's eat and try to enjoy ourselves. I can't believe Agnes is gone. If you want that bicycle for Christmas, you need to start doing chores around the house. Take the garbage out for you. Hello, my boy. Nice of you to invite me to your Christmas dinner. Hello, grandson. Hmm. What happened to the lights? Go and get help, Luke. Quick! I must have pulled my back out. Mr. Wagner, this is Wayne Preston from the Herald. I wonder if I could ask you some questions about the recent deaths at Dante Manor. This is a private line. How did you get this number? Five deaths within a few months is quite a sensational story, Mr. Wagner. The public needs to know. Winter Hill Police Department. This is Senator Charles Wagner. Please put me through to Detective McGuffin. The press are closing in on this, Mr. McGuffin. I have an election coming up, and I can't let this get out of control. I sympathize with you, Mr. Wagner. These journalist types are like vultures around every sad case I get. They just love tragedies. But what can we do? It's a free country. I need to keep this out of the papers, Mr. McGuffin. We've had a run of bad luck. It's as simple as that. The stakes are high, and I'm under a lot of pressure to clear this up. The pressure is on both of us. Your mess is making the precinct look like a joke, and my superiors are not going to take it lightly. Yeah, well, you won't know the half of it unless you get this wrapped up. Is that a threat, Mr. Wagner? That's not something you want to find out. A couple of phone calls can do wonders. Detective McGuffin. A word with you, please. How did you get in here? You're working the case here at the Wagner Estate. I'd like to ask a few questions about the series of unusual deaths that have occurred over the last few months. Now listen to me. You leave those people alone. They've had some bad luck is all. They're nice people, and they need space to get over their losses, okay? And if I find you anywhere near this house again, I'll run you in. You got it? I was almost ready to bring in the Latina maid. I was planning on searching a room hoping to find a bottle of rat poison or a padlock. But suddenly, it was too late. Seems that Tom Wagner, brother of Charles, had an affair with two of the maids. I guess one of them found out and wasn't happy about it. Can't really figure out what they saw in that guy. I mean, 
He was mooching from his brother and doing God knows what in his dirty little film room. When we searched that room, it was a sick pervert's nest. I mean, they had a kid in that house. Little did I know about this kid. 